So this is how my day is starting so far. Battery's dead. Back in action. I just pulled up to drop off the memorial for Mondo. I know that he just got off work, so he might be rushing to get home to see his family. Well guys, that was a little more emotional than um than I thought it would be. So I'm not I'm not gonna include that footage there. But uh, that was just a little bit more intense than I thought it was gonna be. Back to work. Hi Mary Curry. Hi Mary Mary, quite contrary. <laughs> A big butt, but still wouldn't marry. I see that you noticed my Christmas wreath. You gonna be all right, Daddy? Snap. I know I'm a little late for the Christmas pageant. Max, you all right, Daddy? What'd you eat? A chicken bone? We don't even have chickens. Guys, what's wrong with y'all? What's wrong with Max? What'd y'all eat? Max, what'd you eat? What's wrong with you? You need a recall? Now? You gonna be all right, man? Ah, Mary, that's three times you punched me in the face with your face. Poppy, enough, Pop Star. All right, everybody's calmed down now. The reason I have Christmas decorations up is because I need to repair it. It was at first, after last Christmas, sitting on the bed and in, a, in the guest room with another wreath and other things got piled on top of it and it got smushed and then uh, I eventually hung it up but some of the tinsel that's like draped around, you can see the blue silver stuff, it came loose and some ornaments fell off of it and la la la. Well, my sis who it belongs to, who, who bought it in the first place, was like, just throw it away. And it made me feel bad, you know. I should have tried to put it back together better before we hung it up, but I didn't. I neglected to do it. I honestly didn't even think about doing it. It wasn't until I really paid attention to it today, after she said that, that I realized I'm an idiot and that I should have fixed it and paid better attention to it before I put, before we put it on the front door. So, instead of throwing it away, I am gonna fix it. And then I'm gonna put a bag around it, or two, and preserve it on the wall where nothing can get to it and it remains fresh until next Christmas and there's another one that I need to do that to as well and I still need to take the Christmas tree down it's already gonna be Christmas again might as well leave it up no I have a flower pot I'm thinking of making a bell out of or making into a bell how about that Man, was that random. So I have this naked guitar story, right? Yep. Oh, you want to hear it? Are my teeth orange? Because I'm drinking a big red. Mira. Grande rojo. Okay, do a commercial one. Oh, the hole's in the wrong spot. If I try to do the commercial where I drink it, where you could read the label, I'll spill soda up my nose holes. Not doing it. Naked guitar. Ah, yes. Okay. This is a guitar. It's a Dean guitar. 
<laughs> oh yes. If I could only play. Anyway, so there I was, drunk. And a co-worker who shall remain nameless for now. She and I are at work together and uh, we proceed to get drunk. Well, drink. And um, at the end of the night, either I needed a ride or she needed a ride. Probably more like I needed a ride, but I can't be certain at this point. Go back to her place because who knows why. And believe me, this wasn't a romantic friendship. She's still a dear friend. And friend, I mean friend. No hokey pokey, hanky panky, hibbity dibbity going on. We get back to her place. Maybe we had some more drink shots. I don't remember. Maybe we didn't. But all I know is she had a guitar and I was naked. That's why they call him the streak. I don't remember a whole lot about the night, but I do remember nothing happened. There's a tornado passing by. I was laying in bed, or not, I guess I was kind of like, I was, I was sitting in the bed, I think maybe with my back against the wall, bare assed on her sheets, sorry, covering myself with her guitar. And believe me, back then, I probably knew a little bit more than I know now. I'm deaf, I'm positive, because at the time I owned a Washburn, and I was really into learning how to play, so I was on it all the time. I probably even had calluses on my fingers back then. So I was probably just playing random chords, but to two drunkards, it sounded like music. Ladies. And um, then we passed out, got up, had breakfast, and I went home. But that's my naked guitar story. So every once in a while, I'll run into her, or see her on Facebook, and I'll say, hey, Naked guitar, question mark, smiley face, question mark. And she'll always go, ha, 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 loser. Told you, just friends. Oh, that's why they call him the street. Bam. Look at that. Okay, um, that's it for the night, guys. I hope everything went fantastic or is going fantastic. It's, it's just after midnight. So they're probably still partying away in... Mondo's name and I hope so. I hope everybody's safe though tonight guys. Tragically Mondo, if I, if I've said before, he passed away in a drunk driving accident and he was the victim of that drunk driving accident. So it, I, I just pray to the everything that's holy that he watches over everybody tonight and everybody gets home safe and sound or wherever they need to be at the end of the night safe and sound and not just my friends everybody 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 and everything and all the food is good and all the pants fit better and everybody's hair looks good and they don't need their glasses for a little while and their breath smells good, and their teeth look whiter, and their farts don't stink and make a lot of noise, so you can cover it up and hide it, pretend like it wasn't you, and all that. That's what I hope for tonight. I'm gonna go now. Don't do naked guitar with your friends because you never know where it could go. And I'll talk at you later. Really, be careful this weekend, guys. You're gonna be seeing this on Sunday, so it's on your it's your last day to be safe for for the weekend. Okay, get a mohawk, dye it blonde, and subscribe. <laughs>